Great fish, right there. This is going to be a hard one as a bush in front of me. Well today I've come to a river where I've recently had some great sight fishing with my son for rainbows and brown trout, some big fish and I'm going to try that again today. Now I'm just going to try and find some fish to cast dry flies at and hopefully get some dry fly eats on camera. That would be ideal and hopefully catch two or three fish. That would be all I need for today. It's mid-afternoon now and I'm currently just looking at a little side channel that's shallow and clear. It's quite windy at the moment and uh, I'm going to try and see if I can find, find some trout in here and just cast a dry at them and hopefully they'll come up and eat it and we'll see if we can achieve that the main river is quite big but this is just a lovely little side channel that runs up for a few hundred meters and there's often the odd trout in here and we'll see if we can find some again today so all I'm doing is very quietly stalking the edges of this little side channel and trying to spot fish it's very easy to spook them in here so i've got to move real slow and be very careful it's often very hard to see them in this roughly water even though it's shallow and clear and the fish tend to be quite big but it can be hard to spot them at times so i'm staying a little bit away from the bank where I can so I'm just taking like one step at a time carefully scanning the river from side to side as I often sit right by the bank either bank looking close but also looking ahead sometimes you can just see the shapes so I'm just inching up very slowly I expect the fish to be somewhere in here and the last time I was here weren't careful enough and spooked one out of here and it's even lower and clearer than it was the last time so hard to see in here but I'm really going to go for trying to see it first instead of line casting if you look a lot like this and you once you try so hard to spot fish it feels like everything looks like a fish at the moment there's one shape up there that does look very fishy hmm. all right i see one i see one okay this wind is not making it easy oh side okay there it is under the tree That was way to the side. That's a reasonable cast. Well, if you didn't eat that, maybe I'm not seeing the fish. No? Look again. There he is. Too much to the left, to the left of it. Should be a reasonable cast. No, not interested. Moving around a lot though. I need a dropper. to see in this 
Hey, bitch. Can't read it. Ah. the dry yes <laughs> that's what I wanted I think that camera should hopefully have caught it oh, that's exactly what I wanted I'll keep it down so there might be another one up there oh. <laughs> dry fly eat sight fish that is what it is all about. Awesome little rainbow. That's actually quite a nice rainbow. <laughs> Very cool. That is very cool. Wow. Fell to the size 14 parachute atom. Look at that. Lovely rainbow. Well, how awesome was that? That's absolutely what I came here to do. Just out of that water there. So cool. Very happy about that. Now, let's see if we can find another one, two, three, or four, or however many we can find today. Um, might find another couple out of this side channel, but then there's some other places. And go and look. Great fish, right there. What is a really cool fish? Just front here. Casting is going a bit astray with the wind. Is he going to look? Oh no. Has he looked? Let's try one more pass with this try. Just right over him. I have to try them. I can just in the dry. Putting them underneath. Last ditch attempt. It's going to drag a really big stream, a streamer past him. Absolutely zero reaction. <laughs> right past his nose, and not a reaction whatsoever. <laughs> All right, so this trout is very finely spooked. Had enough of that. Oh well, we tried. Well, that fish was a bit frustrating. <laughs> Didn't want to eat anything. Uh, it was just doggo though, just sitting there. He might have heard us coming or just isn't in feeding mode at the moment. And wasn't interested in anything. But I'm sure you saw some good flies going past it. <laughs> Until the stream eventually spooked it. So anyway, let's see if we can find another one that's willing to eat. One look at the dry. <laughs> I 
That one's slow that they dry. I did the second time. Yes! <laughs> nice, little thigh channel. Awesome. <laughs> That's just that I wanted. Feels like a nice fish. I did not see that one at all. And keep it up here. And bring it up here. Yeah. Nice fish. Let's see how much this one weighs. Three pounds, nice. Awesome, what a stunner fish on the dry fly, second for the day. Let's see if we can get more. Another favorite dry drop a stretch here. Clearly, can't see the fish in here. Especially further up where it gets a little bit faster. Sometimes I spot them. Oh, I uh, missed one. I was looking at something else and the nymph was taken. I thought I'd seen a fish and I wasn't paying attention. And then I just saw the fish take off. Yep, straight away, Nymco taken. Awesome. Feels like a good fish. Oh, feels like a really nice fish. I'm gonna keep him out of the snags. He really wants to go into those snags. And really keep them out of those snags. Okay, come on, this way, fish. Oh, that's a good rainbow. Yes! Really nice fish on the dry dropper. Awesome. Ah, oh, lovely fish. Just look at that rainbow. Awesome fish. So happy about that. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get another one. Let me quickly talk you through my setup that I use for this dry fly and dry dropper. So I've got a 9 foot 5 weight here and a floating line. To that I've got a 9 foot tapered leader to 3x. So another 2 foot of 3x and then a foot of uh, 4x and then the dry fly. And then I've got a dropper from the dry fly if I'm using a dropper. And if it's just the dry fly, it's just the dry. Um, if I put a dropper on, then it's about another foot foot and a half to a small size 14 or 16 uh, small tungsten bead pheasant tail and I like red wire pheasant tails in here and for the dry flies I pretty much alternate if I'm sight fishing I use a parachute atom size 14 or 12 and for this blind stuff in riffly water I use a foam cicada type pattern this is like a PMX koala or something that's the setup and I'm targeting the really shallow stuff ankle knee deep definitely less than waist deep and if I can, I try to spot the fish if, if possible. So anyway, let's see if we can find another one. That's very good. We're just at the start of the section. So there's still plenty of room to find more fish. And normally I fish the parachute atoms in here, and especially in the shallower tail sections, but I can hear a few cicadas already. So, and that other fish came up and ate the cicada style dry. So the first one. So, I have a suspicion more wool, and then that one obviously took the nymph, where I'm hoping I'll get more dry eats. And they often sit right next to the bankside vegetation, and especially in this section. But I 
just methodically fish every little likely spot even if it's not fully likely because the fish surprise you and some of the very shallow bits can always have a brown in it see the odd bug on the water as well it's pretty much where I got that fish out there now so I think I'll get anything else out of there and then there's a deeper bit further up that's generally quite nice as well to a very good area dry it came out from nowhere made the dry yes still waking up try and get him on the reel before he really wakes up nice very nice See if I can get this fish before he really wakes up. Good fish, I've got some spectators at the moment with the rafting well coming through yes Woo. got him nice this is a good fish <laughs> oh lots of good fish in here at the moment wow another lovely rainbow trout that is awesome man going really well today that's fantastic cool let's get that one away okay let's see if there are more in here two is already very good and one was a dry fly eat which i'm very happy about i reckon there might be a few more in here and that one just came out of nowhere i didn't really see it at all and it was quite close oh missed one I was late on the strike I saw the flash right in there got him this time oh my goodness that is a strong fish that is going berserk and came off wow I must have I must have missed it the first time got it the second time and then yeah, it just went berserk. I wonder if the fly came off or... Yeah, drop a, drop a knot, bro. Should have checked my dropper or knot anyway. Yep, got him. <laughs> came off with a jump. I think he just came off with it, he bust me. Not sure. Bust me. <laughs> ah, cool, cool, bro. Yes, finally. Unfortunately, the GoPro is in there working at the moment. That's it, flat. 
Well, uh, hopefully we can get this fish in. There's another one following it. Let's see what's going on. Just a little top tackle. Yeah. Nice. Well, there we go. Another nice rainbow just on a deep nymph setup to get down to those fish. Very cool. The uh, GoPro stopped working, so I just had to do it this way. Last look, and uh, we'll let it get away.